Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another video for those that have a new PC. If you're a little more technically inclined, a little more advanced, one of the other things that you can do, we showed yesterday that you can actually start fresh. There's an option to make it as easy as possible for most people. Well, if you're more advanced, you might want to do what I did with my uh, Nitro Acer 5. It came, of course, with tons of crapware installed, as most PCs do. And one of the things that I wanted is to have it as clean as possible with Windows 10, and that's it. What did I do? Well, you go to this page, and I'll leave the link in the description below the video. Here, you can actually uh, use this. And if, for example, most PCs that you'll buy are not up to date to the latest version of Windows 10, you might be on the May 2019 update. Uh, or even worse, you could be on an October 2018 update. And that is the time where you can visit this page and you can click Update Now on the top of the page. Here, it's going to ask you, do you want to keep files or not? What you do, you say, you don't want to keep anything. It will be a form of clean install that's going to happen. The other thing, if you want to have full control of what you're going to do, is use the media creation tool or the uh, tool that's here, which is a tool that will help you go through the different setup process. You can, of course, once again, upgrade the PC, or you can click in that little um, checkbox here and create installation media for another PC and use that, and then click Next. Here you can choose, well, actually, from your own Windows install, you'll choose exactly what version of Windows you need and click Next. Or you can remove the check mark, choose the language, choose the edition, and uh, 32 or 64 bits, and you click Next. Here, you'll be able to do a USB flash drive or download the image that you can uh, do a DVD with, for example. And in that, will um, enable you to actually clean install Windows on your brand new computer. So that's another thing that you can do. And of course, that will help you do a full clean install. Then, of course, after that, you might want to reinstall. So one of the things, for example, Acer Nitro 5, one of the things that is um, the only thing that I actually uh, re-downloaded because it is interesting as a tool is the Nitro Sense tool. But apart from that, you know, uh, most drivers will already be there. You might want to have more specific drivers. For example, this computer has two GPUs. One of them controlled by NVIDIA. Well, I'll, of course, download the NVIDIA graphics tool because, especially if you're gaming, kind of useful so that the computer works well in changing what graphics adapter it wants to use. But, uh, you know, you, this is more for the technically inclined. If you are, then why not check it out and uh, just do a clean install from here. That will remove all the crapware, and you're going to really start from zero with just Windows, which is always the best option and the option with the least amount of troubles. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And thanks for watching.